I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmapinstitute.com. In this video, we'll learn about polynomial inequalities. I've taken up an example, which is we need to solve a polynomial inequality. 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 2 less than 0. We'll learn the steps to solve any polynomial inequality with the help of this simple example. In case you want to learn from me, you can always write an email on the address given here. So what are the steps to solve a polynomial inequality? Given a polynomial, the first step is to factor. So we should know the factoring techniques. Once you factor, we come to know about the zeros. And when we talk about zeros, we have to check their order or multiplicity, right? From this factored form, we could actually solve inequality in two different ways. Let me say one is by graph, and the second way could be by interval table. Once you solve the question, you should also understand how do we write solution. So these are the important steps which we need to understand. We'll go through these steps now. So in this example, we have the question given to us as 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 2 less than zero. So first thing is to factor the given polynomial. There are many techniques to factor it. The best way is to understand what could be the possible rational zeros, right? So we look into possible rational zeros. Now these rational zeros are factors of the constant term, which I'm writing a zero over the leading coefficient, which I'm writing a n. Well, these could be plus or minus. So the possible zeros are plus minus the factors of two, one and two, and also plus minus half. So these are the possible factors. Once we have a list of possible factors, we have to try them out one by one, which gives us a zero, right? So let's try. So what is the value of the polynomial when I substitute one in it? Well, it is two times one cube plus three times one square minus three times one minus two. So which is equals to? 2 plus 3 is 5, minus 3 is 2, minus 3, 2 is 0. So it is definitely equal to 0. So that means that x minus 1 is a factor. Is that step clear? Well, I got it in the very first trial. If you don't get a 0 here, in that case, you have to try the next number, right? But surely, within no time, maximum four trials, you will get your solution, right? Once you know that x minus one is a factor, we can actually divide the given polynomial with x minus one and then get the other factors. Is that clear to you? You get a quadratic equation, which you can easily factor. So let's do that. So now we understand that x minus one is a factor. You can do synthetic division or long division. So let me do long division for the time being. So we are going to divide 
2x cube plus 3x square minus 3x minus 2 by x minus 1. So it goes 2x square times. You get 2x square times x, which is 2x cube minus 2x square. When you take away, what do you get? Here you get 5x square minus 3x. So we can now multiply by 5x. So you get 5x square minus 5x. And that gives you plus 2x and then minus 2. So you can now multiply by plus 2, right? So you have a quadratic form in the quotient. So this can be factored and you can get the other two factors. Let's do that part. Okay, so let me just divide this into two portions. Write down the factors for 2x cubed. Uh, 2x square plus 5x plus 2. Now 2 times 2 is 4, so we can split 5x into 4 plus 1. So that gives you 2x square plus 4x plus x plus 2. And that can be factored. 2x is common, so you get x plus 2. And we already have x plus 2 here. Taking x plus 2 as one factor, we get 2x plus 1 as the other factor. Clear? Therefore, we have a factored form, and now we know that 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 2 less than 0 is same as the factored form, which is x plus 2 times 2x plus 1 times x minus 1, right? And that should be less than 0. Is that part clear to you? So this is very important. So first step is to factor. Once you have factored, we know the zeros, correct? So from here, you know the zeros. Zeros are at x equals to minus 2. And this is at minus half and then at plus 1. Knowing these zeros, we can have four intervals. Now, these zeros divide the whole plane into four intervals. You can test these intervals, and knowing zeros, you can also sketch the graph. That should help you to find the solution, correct? So, we got these zeros at x equals to minus 2 minus half and 1. Now, how do we solve further? Let's see it here once again. So, what we started with is the inequality which is 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 2 less than 0. So we need to factor this polynomial. As you had seen, we found that for p1, x equals to 1, we got a 0. So that means x minus 1 is a factor. Now this time, I am showing you synthetic division, right? The same long division which we did could also be done in a short form. Writing the coefficients, which are 2, 3, minus 3, and minus 2, dividing by 1, we have our solution. So we'll bring down 2, multiply by 1, write down, add them up, and then repeat the process. 0 is the remainder, and the factor, clearly, is a quadratic equation, which is 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Now, this can be factored as we did, splitting 5x into two terms, which is 4x and x, and then grouping them together helped us to factor the term. And so we got the factored form of the inequality. Is that clear to you? So this is the very first step. Now, once you have the factored form, we can actually graph or we can do the interval table, right? So we'll see how do we now write down the solution? As I was saying, the equation can now be written in the factored form, which is x plus 2 times 2x plus 1 times x minus 1 less than 0. Here, we have three zeros, minus 2, minus half, and 1. These three zeros divide the interval into four parts, right? The whole plane into four intervals. Minus infinity to minus 2, 
minus 2 to minus half minus half to 1 and 1 to infinity right so we'll make a table so here we have the four intervals in each interval we'll take a test point in the interval minus infinity to minus 2 I have taken a test point minus 5 the second interval minus 2 to minus half minus 1 is my point 0 in the third and 2 in the fourth well you could take any value we'll try to analyze each factor whether it is positive or negative within the interval the sign changes only when you cross the zero otherwise the sign will remain the same of the polynomial graph correct okay so let's test for the first factor which is x plus 2 substituting minus 5 we get minus minus 1 gives you plus 0 gives you plus and 2 gives you plus I mean 2 plus 2 is 4 but you're not interested in the value you want to check the sign and therefore only the signs are written right so we have minus plus plus and plus similarly with 2x plus 1 we get minus minus plus and plus and with x minus 1 we get minus 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 and plus the function f of x is the product of all these three factors so when you multiply three negatives you get a negative when you multiply positive with two negatives you get a positive right even number of negatives will give you a positive that's what we have to see and therefore we get the sign of the function itself what are we looking for we are looking for less than zero that means wherever the sign is negative so we have the negative sign in the interval which is between minus infinity to minus two and between minus half and one so those are the two intervals where the polynomial inequality is true and therefore we can write down our solution as from minus infinity to minus two union minus half to one is that clear to you that is how we do it well you could have also sketched the graph we know that we have zeros at minus two minus half and one the polynomial is with positive leading coefficient so sketching the polynomial is very simple you start and connect them with a smooth curve as shown in the diagram and clearly we're looking for an inequality which is that the function f of x is less than zero means negative portion correct so it is negative in this interval and the interval from minus half to one so that becomes the part of our solution for the given inequality which is 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 3x minus 2 less than 0 is that clear to you so that is how we are going to solve such inequalities so I hope these steps are absolutely clear so basically you need to factor the polynomial you could adopt the factoring techniques which you have learned you could then graph and then find the interval and then write down the solution just as we did in our case i hope that makes things absolutely clear feel free to write a comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best